how to use trello boards hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can use trello and how you can use it to manage all of your projects your tasks and everything else so having said that let's just jump into the video now quickly we're going to just simply you know sign up over here then the sign up process is very simple and it's absolutely free as well so just enter in your email address over here and just simply click on sign up and we are good to go so just simply going to go ahead and do that and once you're signed in it's going to take you over here onto the dashboard so just simply wait for a couple of seconds and we are good to go so over here this is how it's going to look like right so you're going to set up your workspace this is going to be your first workspace that you can set up you can give it a name over here you can give your workspace a name and then you can send invites to your team members that you want to you know add so i'm just simply going to say when media over here and then i'm going to add as many emails as i want i'm going to use some temporary emails open this up this up and this so four emails i'm going to use i'm going to add them into my board and we are going to go right so over here just copy the email paste it over here and you know just click on adding more emails and click on continue once you've added all the emails i'm going to go ahead and copy the other ones and i'll catch you guys in a second then i'm just simply going to click on continue and all four of these emails are going to be added now over here try trello premium for 30 days you can go ahead and use it you can say goodbye to limits get expanded automations and all of that so let's go ahead and start the free trial and boom we are good to go so over here you're going to have to pay you know ten dollars per user per month and it's going to be billed annually if you're going to use this one and if you use the monthly option then it's going to be 12.50 dollars per user per month per month and you just simply enter in your card number expiration date cvv and you are good to go so i'm going to start without the free trial i don't want the premium one because strictly speaking you don't need a premium version of trello unless you're managing a very very big team and you need a lot of things and a lot of automations and you know it's pretty hard to manage then you can use the pro version and use all of its features but if you're using a small team let's say like maybe 10 people then it's pretty simple so over here we're going to go ahead and create a board so this is the board over here this is the workspaces this is the board that we created and within that workspace we have boards highlights views and members as well so you can add the members over here as i said before so i sent the invite over here so let me just you know accept the invite i'll catch you guys in a second so here we go this is how it looks like so now we have our members added right so we are good to go now let's go back to boards you know over here and let me just go back to the dashboard so over here as you can see we have our space created over here we have four members now it's time to create a workspace create a board so simply click on create new board and then you can go ahead and choose the overall theme the wallpaper the background of it you know you can go with a solid color you know i'm going to keep it black because it's pretty simple and then you can give this title a name over here as well so over here we can go with different you know titles for different people so for example this could be like you know for voiceovers all right and then we have workspace over here and you can go ahead and create them right or you can go with the date and time so for example it's may and it's maybe like almost the third week of may has started so we're gonna go with may week three right and then we can click on create and then we have our workspace so if i click over here it's going to open up the workspace and then we have our boards over here as you can see so we have our lists over here to do doing and done we can go with different ones all right or we can go with the name as well so over here let me just actually change this name to voiceovers actually i thought it was be others so here we go now we can go ahead and do this so over here we can go with add the board called may week Three. and then over here we can go with completed for may over here and then we can say like you know discarded over here those that had some sort of problems within them are going to be over here and then we can create like week three completed we can go with the bracket one over here so over here we can say like these are all the ways that were created by may over here yeah that looks good now we'll put this over here right next to week three and then we'll put this over here at the end the completed one here that yes, looks good now over here if we add a bunch of different titles you know tasks so we can be like make a video on click up as well so there we go that's a task that we added we can add different tasks over here simply that we can create as many tasks as we want there is no limit to that now if you click on a task that you created you will see this pop-up pops up and you will have a bunch of different options over here so you will have your descriptions over here 
the activity is going to be shown over here if you click over here and then you have your comments then you have members then you have labels checklist dates attachment covers and all of that so pretty simple right so in labels you can create different labels so we can go with this one and we can call this completed over here we can give it the green number and we'll click on save and then we'll give another one the red one and we'll call this discarded click on save and then we can have a bunch of other ones you know we'll call this yellow one pending over here maybe like you know there is an issue but we don't really know and then over here we can go with other labels as well if you want it all depends on you and then we can maybe even go with this purple one and we'll call this require thumbnail over here there we go so we have a bunch of different labels as well so whenever someone completes a task or there's an issue they can go ahead and add a label to it and then they can move it onto the other board which says week three completed and then once it's completed we are good to go so pretty simple right nothing too complicated and it's really easy to do so you can create multiple workspaces for different projects you can have different views as well right and then you have templates as well so if you click on the template section you will have different templates to choose from so you have weekly planner you have team meetings project management you have the kanban template you have the design huddle you have the agile boards and all of that right pretty simple and then you have automations as well so if you wanted to add automations you can go ahead and do that you will have rules you'll have buttons you have email reports so i would recommend going with email reports and over here you will have board snapshot due soon overdue cards and my cards right and then you can go ahead and view your email reports as well so let's go ahead and add a bunch of rules to it as well so as you can see powering up so over here you will have all of your automation rules as well so create rules to have butler automatically create your actions on board take productivity to the next step and over here we have a bunch of different ones right so let's go ahead and do that so let's go ahead and create a rule and click on create rule button and over here your command doesn't have the trigger yet so let's go ahead and add a trigger all right so over here when card is moved into by anyone when card is added to list name you can add in the list over here we can go ahead and move it to complete week three by anyone over here you can add that one as well and the when card is by anyone archived or unarchived when the list is archived by anyone we can add these different rules and then over here we have card moves right so these are triggers and we have card add-ons over here when the green complete label is added to a card by anyone then we can add that as well when attachment is added to card by anyone like pretty simple right you get the idea then we can go ahead and add them right so for example if i wanted to add this when a card is added to list week three by me then send in the animation all right so we'll choose this trigger we'll click on that then here we go we have the animation right here then we'll just simply move the card to the top of the list list name over here we'll call it uh week three move the card to the top of the list right archive the card we can go with these ones as well we can go with all of the other ones once we've added these you know actions right this is going to be the trigger right when a card is added to this list by anyone action is going to be move the card to the top list over here so over here let me change it to may week three over here and move the card to the top of the list may week three completed for may we're going to go with that right then we'll click on save and here we go these are the rules now let's go ahead and check it out so if i click on board over here so let me just go back to the workspace over here if i add anything right like i'm going to give it anything a name now over here when i move it over here or maybe if i move it over here as you can see it's completed over here for may automatically so if i move it back it's going to stay there so maybe if i'm back over here it's over here as well so if i add another one over here right and i move it over here it's going to be automatically created and moved over here by the butler so you won't even have to do it you know on your own because it's going to automatically you know move it over there as well so as you can see it's pretty simple right nothing too crazy you can add different automations to your own liking so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye